What's going on my shooters? Welcome back to another video. Man, I'm racking them up today, man. I've been I've been off last week, so I got I got two coming out for you guys. So welcome back to another video. Thank you for giving me a moment of your time. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers so I can get a community page on my on my uh on my account so I can convene with you guys a little bit more. Um yeah, do that, man. I don't want to get on these videos every time I want to reach out to you guys, man. The community community page helps me out tremendously. It gives me the opportunity to kind of drop some, just drop some stuff, man, so you can guys can see what, what I be thinking behind the scenes outside of making these videos. So go ahead. Let's get me up to 1,000 subscribers. Can you do that for me? All right. Blessings. go all right so in this video today man i got some i got some things man i've been trying to increase some stock for you guys here on this channel man i got some things that i want to do so i bought some products that i'm going to be using in my upcoming videos so i'm going to run through those real quick in this very short video and show you guys what those things are all right so in this video guys the first thing i was hurting for a holster i don't know if you guys noticed in my last video but one of the things that i did in my last video i was putting my guns in my pocket after shooting the guns and i was like man i need a holster really bad man so i didn't care what holster i got i just know i needed a holster real quick so i went on amazon man and i looked at all the reviews and the ratings and i found this in waistband kydex holster and it's it's worked really well you know i didn't i didn't do a whole lot of looking into it studying i'm a big reviews kind of guy and as long as the reviews are really good i'm gonna rock with it i'm gonna read a couple of reviews make sure everybody said they liked it and they looked at what they like. I didn't. I didn't even know what I what I wanted in a in a holster. So I said, let me try a few. I mean, that was that was relatively inexpensive, probably about 30, 40 bucks. To you know, it wasn't too bad for me. So I said, let me go ahead and jump on this. So I got an in waistband holster, and I also got a out of waistband holster because while I'm at the range, I also want to be able to kind of have my out of waistband holster there to be able to just kind of quickly draw and practice putting two on target real quick. So I thought this would be very, you know, very uh, productive to have one of these. It'd be really good. Um, I don't want to always have to do draws from my in waistband holster to get that done. So in waistband holster, out of waistband holster, same company. Um, both had really good reviews. If you want to know which model, which brand they are, look down in the description. I got everything for you down in the description. So everything that I pull out today will be down in the description. And I got a special link for you guys um, to, to, to see what, the, what that is. It'll go right to it. All right. So this next thing, it comes in this little fancy box right here. This is a pack club timer. I don't know if that focused on you guys, okay. This is a pack club timer and I wanna get better with my uh, draw and getting the first shot off. So I, I, I set this thing up, man, this thing is phenomenal because you can, you can press go and it gives you about two seconds before it beeps. And you can also put it to random, but once you hit that beep button, then, yeah. Okay, so that second beep you heard was basically, it was basically me um, pressing the button and giving me two seconds to get prepared. Once that first button goes off, I quickly draw and, it's, and within a second, it's gonna beep again. I also set that second beep to one second. So I'm giving myself to, you know, to one second to draw and pull the trigger and put a bullet on target. So that's what I'm practicing right now. I'll probably give you guys a few drills, drills here in a second, but we'll check that out. So this pack club timer is, is phenomenal. This is what um, the guy of T-Rex Arms uh, YouTube page uses. And I, and I always liked it. I saw him using that. I was like, man, I gotta get one of those because that guy's phenomenal in the way he shoots. So this is what he's using to get faster and to get um, better with his drawing and putting bullets on target. I wanna be like that guy. That guy's pretty sharp. All right, so that's that. I also, last time I was at the range, I didn't know where range I was when I was shooting at the um, shooting at the steel target and I wanted to be about 25 yards but now I don't have that problem anymore because I got this um, go 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 uh, what is it called it's a range finder go 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 range finder so now whenever I want to go in the future I can put this on target press this little button at the top it's gonna tell me exactly how far the target is away from me so I can practice my shooting at varying ranges 
so I can get better at putting bullets on target at varying ranges. So go, go timer, go, go range finder, sorry. And the pack club timer. And also, um, I got this uh, belt here. This belt is a, is a really cool, it's a fair wind tactical belt. And I love this belt. This, this belt also had really good, great reviews on Amazon. And what I like most about this belt is it collapses with ease, okay? Yes, you have the additional area over here. I did cut it a little bit because I wasn't that big and I don't intend on growing any, any much more. So, but I like this because, you know, you can pretty much just press this little button, slide it on and off. I have a black one and a brown one. I'm wearing a brown one right now. And, but I, I really like this. So I got this, I got the belt, the range finder, the pack club timer, um, in, waistband, in waistband and outer waistband holster. And those are all the goods that I got in this video. So let me get suited and booted and I'll give you guys a run and show you how I'll be performing in those. Oh, actually, oh, one more second. There is one more thing that I did get. You guys won't be able to see it in, uh, let's see if I can get it out for you so you guys can see it. All right, sorry for the advance, but let me try to pull this out real quick. All right, this is a pink rhino nine millimeter laser that goes inside your, your gun, right? You put this inside your gun here. Let me see if I can get it in there. All right, you ride it for it. Obviously the weapon's clear. There's nothing in there, it's not even a bag in there. And what this does is it allows you to, I got a laser. So now when I'm doing dry fire training at home and I got a target on the wall or I'm shooting at an object inside my room or whatever I'm doing, I can cock this and put, you know, put a laser on target. And now I'm saving money. I'm saving money because every time I pull this trigger, I paid one price for this pink rhino. And thanks to my colleague, Mike G for recommending this for me. It also has an app that goes with it. I haven't used the app yet, but I'll probably feature that to you guys in another video, or I'll put it down in the description so you can check that out. But this is what I've been using to um, practice my drawing. You guys see my equipment and putting, I don't know if you saw it there, and putting laser on target. So those are the products that I've bought during these COVID times to save money, uh, do some dry firing at home, and also when I get a chance to get out to the range, I'm able to be productive in my training and more realistic with my training because I have the proper gear, gear to do so. So what I've done for you guys, I've made it easy for you guys down in the description of this video. If you go ahead and click that link, it's gonna take you right to Amazon. If you don't have these, this equipment and you wanna get better yourself, you go ahead and do just that, man. I made it easy for you guys. So that's it for this video. Um, let me go ahead and get suited and boot it and I wanna show you guys how it all looks. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do here is I've got this uh, pack club timer. I'm gonna press the go button and I'm gonna try on camera to pull my weapon from the holster, put it on target that I have over there and pull the trigger before the second beep goes off at one second, okay? All right, so follow me, let's go. The beep is gonna go off in two seconds. All right, I, I got that one.
All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Man, this is a nice little setup. I probably saved somewhere to the tune of maybe $20, $20 just by dry firing, getting on target, pulling that trigger, re-racking. I don't know how many times I did it. I probably did it probably about a good 30 times right about now. And I saved money from having to shoot all those bullets um, at the range. So um, I would strongly consider you guys clicking that link in the description, getting you a pack club timer, getting you an out of waistband holster, you know, and just practicing, man. It's a, it's, it's a really cool thing, man. I love this uh, pink rhino. So once again, thank you to, to my colleague, Mike G, who recommended this. I've been loving it ever since. All right, that's it, guys. I'm out.